Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you know, it's a girl, Shali. Yeah, man, it's me. I'm back. It's been a while since I haven't done any vlogs, guys, and there's a good reason for that. I really wasn't. I really wasn't feeling hot. I wasn't well at all. So for some days, how much day now? I'm not talking to camera. It's been a while. A few days, more than a. I think more than five days. You know, I haven't taken up the camera because um my phone. Because I don't know it's the phone that I used to vlog. Because I was in a lot of pain, guys. I was in a lot of discomfort, and I just I couldn't keep up because of the medication. So at night, the pain is so bad at night, and then I stay up all night. So usually during the day, that's when I'm falling asleep, and then so you know how it go. Sleep at no sleep sleep a day and up a night. That that's what was really happening, and. Um, so I really wasn't getting my walks and you know all of these little stuff that I used to, to do to get um, me distracted from the pain and all of that but because trust me guys I do a lot of vlogs and the vlogs usually um, is a part of the distraction for me to be distracted from the pain and maybe in another video so I'll just explain um, about the pain and all of that I don't want to, to um, go too much into that right now but that's what's been happening because even last week I think it was last week Friday I, I had to, to go to the um, emergency room because I was in so much pain. I was in a lot of pain for the whole night. I cried. This is the first time I know myself as a big woman cry for the whole night. Not even when me like give birth, me cry. So I cry, man, because the pain and my, my threshold for pain is very high. So if I start to cry, it means that the pain is more than me. And I spent, yeah, the whole night in hospital, man, it was just a lot of pain a lot when they say holy well, pain or something and i remember at one point i was just trying to distract myself with the vlog stick i tried something but i don't know me that try <laughs> I'm going to do some laundry and um, I have a few more videos that I need to get done like I promised to do some sit down videos and I, I haven't even gotten around to doing that not even that because you know the energy if you get up and comb up your hair and put on you know proper clothing and all of that it, trust me so when you're in a pain <laughs> you realize that is really a task so I'm just gonna try and make the most of this day, see how many vlogs I can get to do for today. Well, I'll be doing just this vlog, but how many sit down videos that I can actually get to do. Uh, look there, look there, look for food, look for food over here so I'll pack up from when we buy the, from when we get this yam. And well, I went grocery shopping the other day, so I feel like everything over here ripening up. Look at the bananas and the plant and all of that because I never really had. And the energy to come in the kitchen to come prepare anything is me a little light stuff me eating from the other day. God bless me eat. I wonder if it was short for me. <laughs> I wonder if they may start sinking it. <laughs> no, me think me have enough fat. But yes, um, <clears throat> I wasn't eating much. It's like making little salads and sandwich and that's it. Even the other day I celebrated my birthday like um, a few days ago I did celebrate. Today is what? The 5th? I celebrated my birthday like the 2nd of July and I was in bed all day. I got up around 2 o'clock in the afternoon because as I said during the nights I don't sleep so the night yes me up in a pain, all day up pain and then morning come. I mean I remember, I remember 9 o'clock in the morning I still was not sleeping and that's the morning of my birthday you know and I am groggy and I'm going to go off. Anyways, I eventually fell asleep and I got up 2 o'clock in the afternoon and that's my birthday. So I'm like, what am I going to do now? Hmm? What is there to do? I basically made myself a sandwich and I relaxed in my, in my bed and I watched a couple of movies. But it was no... I never had the energy for that. I was in between sleeps and just watching movies. So that's what's been going on so i'm just giving you a little bit of uh update because i usually do more vlogs than this because yeah, i i usually this is my go-to video i like to vlog because i can just take up a camera and start chat 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 
Yeah, me like do that. I'd rather do vlogs than sit down videos. Because sit down videos, you really have to prepare in terms of like setting up the, the environment and all of that. And yeah, but you know, vlog is just what is going on in the moment. So I tell people, maybe like, oh, you might should do so many videos. And it's basically what's going on in my life. It's just that I take up the camera when I'm doing whatever I'm doing. Because I have to eat. And this is what I'm doing. I have to cook. These are the things that I do in my daily life. And you just see probably a 15 minutes to video. So... Yeah, I find the vlogs them much easier for me to do because right now I'm in my kitchen and my breakfast and I go back. Well, I don't know can I make breakfast and I go back still. I put on a little tea water, but some idea will come up or I just keep it simple and just eat a little muffin because I get some muffin the other day. I went shopping. Oh, it look like me talk about five minutes, so five minutes me I explain one little something. Yeah, I went shopping because, you know, I'd want to do the, the um, shopping vlogs and stuff like that. And while well, in the supermarket, I started a little bit of something and the energy never did the people. So I'll just show you a little bit of a clip what I did. Here it is. And all this at the moment, I'm doing my monthly shopping. And currently I'm in the meat section. So, um almost finished now guys so i'm going to check out yeah <clears throat> so we're back back in our kitchen now yeah man so right now i, I go and make some tea coffee for no coffee this morning i need tea cup of tea people i need a cup of tea so i'm actually going by the hotel i get the laundry done so i'll just put some money on the card and yeah, suppose it is supposed to can do it about 20 pounds of put on there, and that should be able to serve me for a couple of weeks. I think it depends on where you watch the people because if you know you have a whites and them, so you know how you go when you have to separate clothes and them for something here. So, yeah, man, this will do me for now. So I have twenty-one dollars on there. Twenty-one pounds, sorry. Don't know how pounds is paid now. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. So we have another thirty-one minutes. Yeah, for this to be washed. So I'll come back and check in thirty-one minutes. Well I have another load over there as well, so might as well. Actually feel good for come out this morning. It feels like I haven't been out in a long while. Wow, this feels good. <laughs> so the tree them they grow up, man. I know things are going outside and they come like, why? A long time I never be a part of this. Just a couple of days, me, me really not come outside and you hear me go and you know when we say couple, you know what we mean. Yeah man, but they feel good. They're actually outside. So let me get my stretches. I'll make something to eat now because it's been a while since I haven't really had anything substantial to eat either. So when I go in the kitchen, I will see what I'm going. So I'm going to come with me because I know I'm fast and I want to see what I'm going in my kitchen today. Yeah, man, I'm going to come in my kitchen. So meanwhile, I'm inside here. Let me show you this um, this drainer that I bought on Amazon. Yeah, here it goes. So it has this little basket thing. It's two tier as you can see. Uh, upstairs and downstairs. Um, this drainer. This I like it. It have a little buzz. Um, it's the first I was actually seeing um this kind of um style. So I'm like, I'm gonna get this. Cause you know, maybe lives with somebody else. I want this drainer did in here, and yeah, did this drainer gone, so maybe I have to buy one. But this one me like it. It have a little buzz because you see the little basket here. You can put your knife and spoon and then look at something in there if you drain. And down there, so you put your base now, your dish and your cup, whatever you're gonna put there. And no, it's over here, so you put the cup there. Cause you know, see me one, me now me now have not much a deal with. So any little thing you know you have to wash and put, you plate them up here, so like a um like your dip your dishes or whatever you want to put there or your drain board. And yeah, it has a little buzz. I like it. I like the look of fancy look we have. And um you have heavy duty ones as well, like much bigger than this, but because I just me one, yeah, whatever me I use, me I just wash it and put it down, turn it down and just use it and that's it. When they're dry, I just remove them. So I don't think I needed anything bigger than this. Yes, so I paid coming on one know the price them and everything. This is eleven pounds. You know, Amazon I go pay me for the holiday and look for something here though. Yeah, that's how it looks. 
Comment down below and tell me if you like it, guys. And of course, that's my blossom over there and lily over there. So, boy, the plant they look like them are suffer because I carry them outside a long time, you know. I tell us it's a long time, I don't go out there, but I can water them from right here. Yeah, so let me get something to eat. I have cake over here. You know, cake tastes good. It's banana loaf cake. Yeah, it's not banana, it's lemon. Lemon, lemon, lemon. So I'm gonna have that. And I have banana right here. So I'm gonna make some tea, nice cup of tea. And that is what I'm dealing with for breakfast this morning. Nothing, nothing too heavy. So let me cut a little piece. Then me go and like say one little. All, all of this me go eat people. All of that me now go pretend like say a piece of it. Me go eat all of it. Um, and then I'm gonna have my little banana right here. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm done eating the breakfast now, but I have this burning issue, you know. But when people eat, they can't full of energy. Yeah, man. Me swallow a battery now. So yeah, and then from my chest from the other day, but two pain that walk me so. Me never had no mouth. We have to just take it down one. <laughs> can't that no. Oh my God. So when I, yes, as I mentioned, I went to the supermarket the other day to do my monthly shopping. I have the blog stick. And I'm staring out my hand. Yeah. So I went to do my mo monthly shopping and all of that. And I don't know. For those who live here, how to keep up with the people them there all day or any supermarket. I to really keep up with them. I felt like I was doing a marathon. <laughs> like, it's basically uh, a thing where you have to be keeping up with the cashier. Because as you can see, we, we over here, we have to pack our own bags and stuff like that. That's what I'm telling you, we live like there, Jamaica. I don't believe it, you know, people. <laughs> yeah, man, I used to them hard life. Like a people usually pack your bag when you go to the supermarket. Yeah, that happens back home. But, so that's why sometimes when you're traveling, you know, you get to experience so many stuff and you get to appreciate home so much better. Yeah. You know, if you want to check out a few stuff for yourself, fine. When I, it's very convenient when you have those kind of stuff where you can, you know, check out stuff for yourself. Nice and convenient. But you see, when you have one whole something, a trolley or something, because my monthly trolley, it's a lot of stuff. And this time I got some more stuff than the last time because I would have basically run out of rice and those kind of items and flour and sugar you know them stuff there and water and whatever so my trolley was very heavy it was overloaded I imagine me and the pain now you just see me barely and move you know oh, what if where this supplier come from I come embarrass me please out of here she has to open a little door so they fly in anyways yes I wish part me they know why me get distracted by the fly? <laughs> so as me said, my monthly shopping now. So you have to keep up with the people them. The trolley enough, enough something in the trolley, and you're basically unpacking as well as you're gonna have to repack those stuff into the bags. Yes. So I am there struggling a bit. I'm struggling because I'm like I feel like I, I am in a um, in, in a race with the cashier. Cause you have to be packing on the stuff onto the the, the um the table there for it to be cash and then you have to move around to the other side to collect them oh my god i have to pack the bag so me feel everybody i pull me like why me i move so slow and i'm like oh, why everybody i look for me so i want me do i was so special because trust me they did the soup they did the chali heavy had everything in there packed to the brim have to go on off the way turn a journal on different land because me not playing and if 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 they wanted to go so much faster whosoever cash them can actually help you pack the bag no so them them stand up and them hands off hands off and is everything okay ma'am that my head you know say everything that I write you know sir but me not me not me not take it out on them because me know say I saw the place stay but in my head me I said lord you know obvious everything that I write papa in a, in a obvious a good girl, I struggle with the bag them. With the whole if I something be packing I bag them, me mean say me a pack bag, you know, me a pack everything. One I tell me here, say, would you like me to put this in for you? I tell my wife to frozen something, I go put pan top, you know, me I said, then that alone, him I do. So me go and take my little time, come here, say, what me go do? Me can't do more than what me, so they put me pain more than me. I know me did take up myself, say, so me go shopping the day to go do, but me did need food because me have to eat. Anyways, that is just one part of it. 
So yeah man, me pack up my bag and I feel like them are rush me now, you know, because when I time me see him take up the water, yeah, he did help me take up the water if you put on something. And he take up something, me not tell no life and he take up something else. But he might put them on there and put them in a no bag, but I'm more trouble he might give me this so because when me go me not drive, is that Uber me have to go take? So when you have put them on the trolley like that separately, then they'll give me more trouble to go pack them. You just tell me to come out of the line, but hello. Yeah, the same sir. Yeah man, so he was just one part of it. And this is said, why? Let me see, let me Jamaica when you come to this house, man, you don't pack your bag and help you free. You know like a weird eh? So anyways, that is one part of it, or long meet me. Because when I tell story, I feel like I have to grow out and come back here. Yeah, but I come to the point, the Uber drivers here, they're not supposed to really touch your bags. As, well, that's what I'm informed and I understand that. And you know, if they want to help with the bags, they'll ask for permission. Because you know, being courteous and all of that. So if, if a lady or whosoever has a lot of bags, then they may, do you need help or whatever? Well, that's what um, usually happens. I've had cases where um, drivers didn't really help. And those bags weren't a lot either way. And I understand the policy and everything. But you can imagine now, maybe there would be this big old chalet or something, and then when the Uber driver came, he came and he parked and was like on the other side, so to be like, no, you need to come closer to me, yeah? And he came closer, and then he fly the trunk, you know? He fly the trunk. So they get the message, just so kind of come out, I can't move. So they come out and come open them trunk and make sure so they stuff them in there nicely. Him sit down and relax, and we get the point. We say, Yes, man, I'm my idea today. Yes, girl, are you already here today? Take it and soak it up. Soak it up, man, are you already here today? So you want to see how me has struggled with it? I mean, tell you, say, I'm not supposed to leave them bag here, I'm not supposed to leave them bag here. I have to struggle and I put the bags them in a... I don't expect himself to do it, really and truly, because it's not their job, but it's just common courtesy. If you see what woman do, I will put a bag here, I will try to help. That's all. I just that well, sometimes we expect too much in our life and expectation that will bring stress. But anyway, I'm going to unload my um, me trolley and put them in, in the car, in the trunk. I mean, I would put them packing on them stuff there. So, but I didn't want to look for assistance here yeah, to line up the something them the right way. What? I realized that now I come out so me take my warm little time. Come here and say, what the rush? Him not in a no rush, guy. him park and him relax. So, I say, well, it's since I say, relax, let me take my little time and load this. Because no no help na there so oh god man somebody feel pressured the day there but as me say i've had drivers who really keep their hands off their like hands off like that they're not going to touch anything and it's just a few times that happen but most times they most of them are very helpful they actually help them come out and help because you can see in the vlog when my, my friend was leaving and one of them actually came out and pick up the suitcase and put in the car yes you have most of them are helpful so when i meet the ones that are not so helpful, me like, then I want to make him happy come today. Because look, they know, I when me really need the help, you know, is somebody like that, me get. But me suck it up. And then when me reach the apartment, no, me fi unload the car. Me say, my man, they sit down and he fly chunk again, he want to say, if he come, go up in here, help me unload. No, sir. Me say, I never see nothing like this. But him look like a young guy too, you know, but me say, then, they never teach him look or something they home say hello on oh, must be a lady gentleman what even if, if it's not a part of your work to do it then but oh god you could have said somebody didn't pop down sir hey sir i make you do it but relaxing and she to you know feel like he's sweeter than everybody else and he's sweet too yeah he's good looking and everything but come on you know strike so good looking when you sit down and i help the lady but me take me look time and unpack it <laughs> but guess what? Me never like that that he choked me and that was me being a bit on purpose because I'm like, so I'm really not move. So I expect me must do and me must like the trunk. I just went on by about my business and I didn't close the trunk. Boga, you never have to get up and close the trunk now. <laughs> And you know, a lot of discomfort and I laugh to myself, you know. Because sometimes you just have to find a joke or something light in whatever is going on. It's his job, he doesn't have to, to touch him back. You have to understand that if he doesn't want to, that's up to him. But I don't have to touch your car either. No, somebody don't ride in night already. I left the choke up in you. Go and go close it, sir. <laughs> so, may I tell you? Yeah, me didn't have to kind of bend the part because when me come home now, that time, me know what pain feel like. 
Yeah man, I did so I know say body now nah, get no better cause the minute I lift them bag there and so when I come, me basically when I done unpack, cause all me say me go do haul and so I realize me can't do no haul, no nothing. I just unpack the bag them and just change and head right into the bed. Right into the bed. Luckily me did pick up one salad. So I never have to cook nothing, which is good. So I pick up one little, um, what kind of salad you call it? Um, a sweet chili noodle salad. And it is sweet me too, you know. Yes, so even a couple of days after you want to see me, I try to make that myself. A salad I live from, from the other day. So I just went straight into my bed. And, and I was just there in pain. Gosh, you see the young boy, you don't have to do it. <laughs> don't do it, man. I want me to kill out myself when I get up for my time. I could eh? mm -mm. But that's how I go. In a life I will come across people where I have courtesy and stuff and then others not so much but whatever life brings you, you have to take it. Girl, let me not take care of my clamadade. Hey, but trust me, that the moment I never feel nice, you know? I never feel nice people. Me did kind of like, you know, like this is displeasing but I get through the day. I may get through other days because right now you see me sitting up a chat too. No? I like my mouth can't shut up no not talk. I should be like to go the camera for how much they know me feel like me feel chat 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 plenty now. And how much minutes that? Oh my god, that's eleven minutes. So when me fit edit this video you now, talk to people. I'm gonna take up the laundry them yet cause them long they are wash. And something I'm gonna include other stuff in the vlog. So how that I go go. So you know how this go now. I just one video this. I one video this. I mean, now make it chat either and watch the video, people. Like up the video and subscribe and share. And also say me monetize. Not even the video I do yet. They say at Nali say yes, me monetize and stuff. And thank you for the support because I couldn't do it without you know. Yes, you my viewers, my subscribers. Thank you guys so much. And remember to watch the ads. Yeah, man, I don't know. Say I saw we make a little look or something. Watch it ads them, man. Watch it so we can build the channel and them stuff there so we can, you know. Yeah, man. So good things are better in store for us. So thank you for tuning in with me today. I'm your girl Shawi saying peace out.